Okay, so there it is. I've got it back on. Got it back on. Now this nut is right hand thread. Is that what it is? Counterclockwise threading. So it tightens. Okay, which side was it on? See when this is on the outside, it's got the markings on it, and it says F, and I'm assuming that means front. You can hardly see, but that F right there. And tighten it first. Hold up. That doesn't feel right. Let's try it the other way. Ah, I guess that's the right way. Nice and hand tight. I'll just finish it up. Okay, so I took the pan completely off. There it is. And it's pretty dirty inside. Oh. There goes my light. Yeah. See a lot of metal right there. Yeah, nice chunks of metal. But I'm glad it wasn't the pump itself, so that's good. So I don't feel like replacing an entire fuel uh, oil pump. One shop I called wanted $650. It could go kiss my left nut. I looked it up online, the pump for this vehicle, uh, 01330CI, is about 300 and change, like 375 I think it was, not $650. Six hours of la labor, well you know what, I can do six hours of labor, like three days in a row, if that means I'm gonna keep my money in my pocket, so. It's a nice little project. Pickup sender, uh, pickup tube looks good. There it is right there. And let me just finish tightening this up. And I know I'm supposed to torque this, but I don't have a torque. Or do I? Nope, sure don't. I don't have a torque wrench, so give it a nice, good right hand tighten. Let me see this bitch come back off anytime within the next 100,000 miles if it lasts that long. I don't want to overdo it, but I definitely don't want to underdo it and have to do this shit again <laughs> anytime soon. That's good. All right, that's it for now. Let's start putting this sucker back together. Hopefully, I'll be able to drive.